Happy Sunday, my YouTube family. I hope you're having a good day. Welcome to Cooking on a Budget. I'm Miss D. And today, you know, when I got up this morning, I said, you know what? I'm in a mood for short ribs with um, gravy, rice, and peas and carrots and potato salad on the side. So, short ribs are very expensive. So, I had to come up with another alternative for short ribs. So, I just brought regular ribs. You know, I brought the ones with the smaller bones so that you know, they can kind of mimic um, short ribs. But nonetheless, they should, they're going to still taste delicious. So I have them in the oven. I'm cooking the brown rice. And uh, as, as you all know, I always tell you that brown rice takes only 25 minutes to cook. It don't matter how much, well, it does matter. If, you, if you're using like two or three cups, it takes 25 minutes. So... It's a, it's a science. I got it packed down. So you could try it. White rice take 15 minutes. So I started on, I brought my potatoes for my potato salad. We're going to get to that in a minute. But let me show you how my ribs looking so far. Let me show you. Woo. Oh, that oven. This is real cooking, y'all. Y'all see my glasses? <laughs> so... This is how the ribs looking. They all they getting all nice and caramelized. Look at that. I'm gonna put them back in there about ten more minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and make our roux. Well, I started my roux. We're gonna go ahead and continue my roux for the gravy. That should be real, a real good Sunday dinner. So what I started on, like I said, I started on my. I start on my potato salad. Um, I only only cook a little, I only cook a few potatoes today because, you know, it just it's not a lot of people, you know, today. So I have my I have my onions, I have my my bell pepper, and I'm gonna show you um, how I finish cutting up my my onion. You know, when you're making potato salad, what you don't want, you don't want big chunks of onion. And I, I, and I like I like doing demonstrating um, shows and techniques, especially for young people, because um, it's okay to, to know how to cook and to provide for your own self. That's one thing. You never have to worry about nobody, you know, feeding you because you'll know how to cook on your own. So I have my potatoes already in my pot. So I'm going to take my onion, my onion, my bell pepper, and I'm going to go ahead and put that in, in my pot. So I'm going to just leave everything in the pot, and then when I get finished, I'm going to transfer it to my, my little um, container. And then I have, I have my onion, my bell pepper, like I said, and my final ingredient for my potato salad is my celery so i like to cut my celery small too can you see young people how i'm doing and just be careful always watch watch what you're doing you see if you're not good with a um with a knife there's knives that you can purchase that have safety blades on them i mean safety yeah safety blades so just keep on continuing to cut it cut it small and move your fingers every time you see like i'm doing move your fingers my mama taught me when I was when I was a kid. I always talk about my mama. She's still living, thank the good Lord, and um, she still give me advice about cooking. She's the sweetest lady I know. I'm telling you. So go, you go ahead and put your celery in your pot. And then um, you're gonna take some parsley, and you know they have that little device on it where you could just go ahead and pour it in a pot. You like kind of measure like I have a like a quarter of a teaspoon of parsley. See? Now <clears throat> I have my eggs. I, have, I brought two eggs. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and finally chop my eggs so because all of that is part of the potato salad process. My mama uh, my, when I was growing up my mama, she thought I never paid attention to her cooking, but I did. You know, being a teenager, you know, you want to just run outside and have fun. I was about 15, 16 years old when I cooked collard greens. <laughs> I mean, I watched her and watched her and watched her. 
And, uh, I didn't I didn't know the greens used to had to be that tender <laughs> because she would use a uh, I would always you see my mother use a pressure cooker and I was scared of that pressure cooker because that little device back in the day it, it, you could it was it was much worse than the process that we have now in terms of pressure cookers. So <laughs> one day when my mother went she went she went out uh, her and my father. And uh, I said, you know what? I'm gonna cook these. I'm gonna cook these collard greens for my mom and dad, for the family. So I did. I washed them. I cooked them really well. I did everything I was supposed to do. I didn't use the pressure pot. Mm -mm, I ain't touched that. But I just put them in a regular pot, thinking that they was gonna, you know, that it. I guess rationally, I didn't think that it was gonna take that long to cook collard greens because they had to get tenderized. So I cooked the greens. Put all pickle meat in it. She showed me how to cook, do the pickle meat, growing up, um, neck bones. That's that's one of my favorite things too. So I put the neck bone, <laughs> I put the pickle meat in the neck bones, the onion, the garlic, and I put all of that in the pot together, stir them up, and that's and I say I just let them cook. I just let them cook until the the meat got tender. And I thought since the meat was tender, the greens were tender. But not putting two and two together, being young, it was the pressure cooker that speeded up the time that got them really tender. But anyway, when she came home, I said, Mama, I made dinner. She said, she said, you made dinner? I said, yeah. So I said, let me fix your plate. <laughs> that was the funniest thing, so I fixed the plate. Um, she said, Debbie, why are these greens so hard? <laughs> but um, I did the best that I could. But I try to, and that's why I guess I, I love doing what I'm doing. I love people. I really do. I love people. I love young people. I love teaching people things, you know. But, but I'm asking God to give me more patience to go with my learning process. Because all of us on this earth, we're still learning from something. Don't ever think that you're on this earth and you're not learning anything. So, if you have any questions, like I always say, I don't bite you know, I'm a very nice person. I'd be happy to go over anything that you may that you may need. If you want to email me, email me at EssentialNewOrleans19 at gmail.com. I'll be glad to answer any questions for you. I'll, I'll be glad to read any comments that you may have. So that's just who I am. All that other stuff, I don't, I don't care nothing about. But anyway, I got all my seasoning people, young people in, in, my, in my YouTube audience. In my pot, cause y'all know I like a pot. I like a, I like my, but I especially like my skillet. So I'm gonna take my eggs and put them in here. Let me get my little um, spatula. Now I got about a half a teaspoon of vinegar, cause vinegar is, is part of the. Um, potato salad process as well. So you go ahead and pour that in. Now, I have the, the next step that I'm gonna use is mayonnaise, mustard, and sweet belly. So let me get those things. Mustard and All right, so I have my mustard, I have my sweet relish, and I have my, my mayonnaise. But before I go ahead and, and complete this step with my, with my potato salad, let me show you what I was doing in terms of my of me starting my roux to um, go ahead and get you know make a brown gravy. So I put two um, tablespoons and a half of flour. I put onion, bell pepper. Now I'm about to put some garlic in here. Kind of brown that with a little olive oil because you want to try to get it brown as possible. So once you do that, <clears throat> you put it back on the stove. Let me go ahead and put my, let me show you how, let me show you young people how you cut garlic. That's why I left it out. I have my, my garlic. As a matter of fact, I used six, six cloves of garlic today. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my garlic and put it in my pot. It's important to learn how to cook. It's, 
it really is. It, it doesn't matter if you if you go out all the time and eat because it, it's just good to know how. But you never know when things happen and you don't have any money. So I'm going to go ahead and stir this again, like I said. I got my onion, I got my bell pepper, and I got my garlic. And I'm going to pour my water in my pot. This is, this is about two cups of water. Let me show you. This is about two cups of water. I'm going to pour this in here. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put a, another two cups of water in here. Because the reason why you have to cook down your, your meat, because you have to make sure that your meat is tender. That's the, that's the worst thing in the world than to eat tough meat. So I'm cooking my brown rice. I added a little salt and about two cups of water to that too. Like I was telling you earlier. All right. So I have another two cups of water. And that's all I need. Now I'm just going to stir that, get everything together. And when it starts to start to bubble a little bit, um, then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with my kitchen bouquet because today I want my I want my gravy a little richer and a little darker than usual. Okay. All right. Then. Okay. Yes. All right. Let me show you. Let me show you my ribs, y'all. Let me turn this off. Look how, look how beautiful, see it? See how beautiful they are? Ooh. I'm just gonna sit those over there because I'm not ready for that yet. I need my, I need my, my water to start to get hot so that the gravy process could take place. Now, in the meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and finish cooking, I mean, making our potato salad. All right, so. We're doing good. We got good time and everything. Today is a beautiful day. To God be the glory. So we having a, like I said, we having a fantastic day. Got my red wine. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a little red wine every now and then. Y'all know that. So I'm just gonna put it right there. Okay. So once again, I have my potatoes. I have my onion, my bell pepper, my um, parsley. Then I have a, a, a half a teaspoon of vinegar. Then I have two brown eggs that I cut up. That's in here as well. So we're gonna take a little mayonnaise. Now depending on um, Depending on what everybody, everybody makes their potato salad different. Some people like the their potatoes to be whipped, like a um, mashed potato. I don't like that. I like my potatoes still a little chunky, so I don't. When I, I try to fold, just to keep that from uh, for, to keep them together, I should say, without them, you know, cut, you know, cutting cutting them up too much to be like potatoes to be like whipped potato, whip potatoes. I just, I just I like my potatoes kind of still hard. I mean, not hard, but whole. So I'm mixing that up <clears throat> like that. See how I'm mixing it up? And that was, and that wasn't, and that's just enough potatoes, enough mayonnaise, I should say, uh, for my potato salad. Because you don't want to, um, you don't want too much mayonnaise, I mean, you, especially if you didn't cook a lot of potatoes today. Now, I like my potatoes chunky. Like I said, now when I mix my potato salad up, I determine how the size of my potatoes that I like. Because I, I definitely don't like potato salad like like mashed potatoes. That's a no-no for me anyway. That's a real turn off. I never liked it, even when I was a young person. I have my, <clears throat> I have my sweet relish and I put about a spoon and a half. About a spoon and a half of sweet relish. And then I have my mustard. About a, 
about a half a teaspoon. And then you go ahead and put a little, I like to season my potato salad. Cause I don't like, I don't like bland, I don't like bland food. It's, and to me, a potato salad is kind of bland if you don't put some salt and pepper in it. So I put a little accent, put a little garlic powder. You know, everybody, some people season their potato salad, some people don't. Everybody cook the way they want to, especially in their own home. I got my black pepper, got my soul seasoning, and that's it. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. I'm just going to keep folding. I like potato salad, but I want to eat it when I'm in the mood. Like today, today is a good day to, to eat potato salad because you're making a good dish. So um, my potatoes, my potato salad is, is mixed together. Everything is blended together well. Now let me taste my potato, let me taste this potato salad, y'all. Mmm. Mm. That's my happy day. That potato salad is so delicious. I'm telling you. I, I hope I hope you um learn. I hope you start making these recipes. I hope you watch the show. I hope I'm teaching you some things. I really do. I want you to be part of the program, part of part of the show, because I just want to have fun. I want to entertain. And that's it. Mmm, that's some good potato salad. I'm telling you, it's very good. When you when you when you when you make a, a good dish, and it comes out the same all the time, you, you know everything else is gonna fall into place. So. I'm hoping that y'all having a good day today. I am. I said today is Sunday. Got my hair dead. Took a nice glass of wine. And we breathing. We breathing, which is a blessing. So you can't ask for nothing else. You really can't. You can't ask for nothing else. So I got my pot on. I'm just waiting until it starts to heat up. So that I can go ahead and um, add my kitchen bouquet to my to my water. Now I'm just going to put my potato salad in here. It's, it's not a lot. It's really it really isn't. It might look like a lot, but it's not. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here, and then put it in the refrigerator so that it can get cold. Now some people some people like warm potato salad. Some people like cold potato salad. It's, it's your preference. You know, it's up to you. Like I say, when you're in your kitchen, that's your domain. So people gotta respect your rights. You know, however, however you, however way you want to cook something, that's fine with me. That's that's your kitchen. I can respect that. And then, if I like, you know, if I like what you're saying, and 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 every, you know, everything is working out good for you, and you're teaching me something, I go ahead and apply that process to what I'm doing, because everybody has. To to learn, everybody always learning. So, you see, I told you. That's just enough potato salad. Look at that. Came out, came out beautiful. It tastes delicious. You can't ask for nothing better. I, I'm just gonna take a little black pepper and sprinkle on top. Little black pepper ain't gonna hurt nobody, y'all. And that's it. Sit and put this in the fridge. Look at that. I made the right amount because this is all I need. And that's all I can eat. So I'm gonna put this in the zane so we can get to this over here.
my rice will be my rice almost done. It'll be done in about four minutes, or four and a half minutes. We're just gonna put this to the side right here. Put this in the fridge. No. So I have my ribs. You know, you know, um, short ribs are so expensive. Like, you only get two short ribs in a pack, like eight dollars. I said, are you serious? Eight dollars? I'm not paying eight dollars for two ribs, two two short ribs. And it didn't. Short ribs are not that big. They're not that big. And I said, I just can't do it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm not cheap, you know. I just try to stretch my money, you know, and I, I'm i just not going to throw away my money on anything. I don't care. I just don't care. I think, you know, that's like I, like I said yesterday when I, was, when I did my cooking show. You have to kind of plan your cooking um, and how much you're going to spend, your budget. So buying two... Buying um, some short ribs in the pack, but, and you're only getting two small ones, and you got and you got extra people in the house. You like defeating the whole purpose. When you can go and buy short ribs, I mean, when you can buy, I'm sorry, pork ribs or whatever kind of ribs you want, whatever kind of ribs you want, and you get, like, let's say you get a big old pack of ribs like that. Just go ahead, wash them clean. What? Please wash your meat. Washing meat, that's okay. Washing meat, season your meat real good. Then you, you determine you know how many people you have at the at the house, and you just go ahead and you just put your meat in your pan. Like hopefully it's a larger pan than this, but for, for me, this is enough. Because what I like to do if I have leftovers, I like to put them in the freezer, and then I don't have to cook. I also like to freeze my bell peppers too. So I buy like eight bell peppers, wash them, clean them out, put them in the freezer. And I don't have to buy bell peppers. You see what I'm saying? So this is what I, this is this is regular pork ribs. They was on sale at Walmart. I just, I, this is like, this is the size of the rib that I was telling you about, the short ribs. You only got two of these. Two of those for $8.41. When you could get a big pack, like eight forty, like eight fifty, eight twenty nine, depending on you know, I guess the weight. Yes, it depends on the weight. Uh oh, uh oh. Caught me, caught me slipping, but that's okay. This is real live cooking. I don't care. So let me stir up my. Cause it's it's, bub it's it's cooking up now, so I'm gonna add <clears throat> one cap full. Yeah, you could use this as a measuring cap. And I'm gonna pour that in there. And what a, and what a, a kitchen bouquet do? It, it browns your, it turns your gravy a little browner, a little darker than than usual. Like if you if your gravy is kind of light brown and you want it a little darker. It adds it adds that consistency to your to the gravy that you want the, the color that you want I should say. So, and let me show you. See, see it's turning. See how brown it is. Always keep some of this at home because you never know. It's called kitchen bouquet. I'm not getting any money off it. I never do get. I don't get solicited for any. I don't solicit any products unless I use them. Um, this is what I do use every now and then. You know, but like I said, I don't get paid for them. I only, if I'm gonna use them, I'm just gonna t show you, you know, what I'm using. So, all that other stuff don't matter. So, I got my gravy. I'm just gonna let it cook down a little bit. And I'm gonna finish showing you about the ribs, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my rib, my short ribs, well, my ribs to my water, so they could get tender. But when you buy good ribs, like like these, they're gonna they're gonna come out real nice and tender, because you see how easy it was for me to cut it, and look how look how easy it is for me to kind of pull it apart, y'all. Okay, okay, I I'll be over there in a minute, honey. Talk this to the microwave. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
So let me go ahead, put my ribs in here. So, Okay, now I'm going to pour that grease off and then I'm going to show you what else I'm going to do. This is, what, this is what my mother taught me too. Just give me one minute. You see the bottom of the pan? They, they call it drippings. All of that is part of the cooking process. You never want to throw that away. So what you do, you just scrape that off at the bottom because all of that has the flavor in it. And you want to take this and put it in your pan. I mean, don't scrape the pan until you put a hole in it. You just want to get as much flavor from the bottom of the pan as you, as you can. Okay, so I'm just going to let that sit a minute and I'm going to go ahead and season this while my, while my meat is cooking. So I'm just going to um, put in about two tablespoons or three tablespoons of my um, accent or three tablespoons of garlic powder, about three tablespoons of my soul seasoning and about three tablespoons well, not two, I'm sorry, but one and a half tablespoons of your black pepper. And if you like it spicy, I'm gonna add a little, little more kick to my short ribs today. Just gonna take a pinch of, see a pinch? Let me show you. That's just a pinch. A tiny pepper. Put that in there. That's it. No more spices. You don't need any more. It's like what you're gonna do is just cover that up. I'm gonna pour that in that pan, in this pan here. And then I'm gonna cover it up and just let it cook. Just let it cook. But you want your you want your ribs, it's, even though they're tender, but you want them you want the meat to fall off the bone almost, almost. Okay. I'm gonna make one more thing. Cover my pot up. I had some leftover. Um, I had some leftover onion, so I'm just gonna take this and put this on the side for something else. Sometimes I forget that I have that I used all my onion anyway. That's just me being me. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pour my rice out. I want you to see how beautiful it came out. Let me show you. My rice is my rice is done. I'll cook it 25 minutes. You see, one thing about brown rice, the grains are very dense. It takes a while for it to cook but it's always I always cook my rice just perfect because I, I don't like short grain rice I like for my rice to, to stay long grain and because what I like about brown rice is very very dense yes but it has a lot of flavor it tastes kind of earthy woodsy like and I, and I like that particular flavor of the brown rice so I'm going to go ahead and pour that out Let me just take this off for a minute. I had to turn my fire up a little bit. But anyway, you understand, I know you understand what I'm what I'm doing. I understand, I know you understand the process. So 
once your gravy cooks down and your meat is tender, your rice is done, then you might want a vegetable on the side. So what I have here is some frozen peas and carrots. Love frozen peas and carrots. So I'm gonna take some water. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm filling my cup, my same measuring cup, filling it up with water. So I have my measuring cup. Now I'm gonna get my butter. So I'm gonna take my water and pour it in my little container because I'm gonna cook those in the microwave too. And that's all you need. Just make sure that the water is, is, is covering up the peas a little bit, the peas and carrots, that it's not over, that it's not too much. It's just right. Okay, I got my, my water, I got my peas and carrots. So I have my, I take, I, I say about the, um, teaspoon, yeah, teaspoon and a half, teaspoon and a half of butter. Now I'm going to use salt, about a teaspoon of salt. Um, <clears throat> Some black pepper, a half a teaspoon. Oh, I'm sorry, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Then you have garlic powder, half a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And what else am I missing in my accent? About a half a teaspoon of accent. Then you just go ahead and stir this up a little bit. I put it in the microwave for about five minutes. I cook all my vegetables in the microwave about five minutes. That's perfect. It's cooked enough. And that's it. That's how you do that now. You know, some people might say, well, that's not real cooking. What you think, well, what you think I'm doing? What you think this is? Well, every time you get in the, cooking in the kitchen, you touch anything, oh, it's real cooking. You gotta eat it. So I might, I might um, do shortcuts, cause that's, that's convenient for me. But you might wanna put yours in a pot. And that's okay, still gonna get cooked, same process, except, except mine in the microwave and yours on a pot. I mean, on the stove. Still gonna come out right, still, still, gonna, still gotta cook it. So, you know, people, you know, people have their own opinion about things and that's okay. I don't, I don't mind. I, I really don't. So, my, my short, my, my, my ribs are looking really good. I keep calling them short ribs, but they're not short ribs. They're just pork ribs that I cut like, like, um, short ribs. But the gravy, the gravy looks really good. I'm going to show you. You see? You see how nice that gravy is? Mmm. So go, let me go ahead and start my peas and carrots. So, you know, I would, um, there's a lot going on in the world today. You know, I, I think we living on the last days. But anyway, <clears throat> there's a lot going on. A lot of young people losing their lives, a lot of black men. And you worry so much all the time. You know, I worry about my nephew, I worry about my daughter. Because even though it's not just black men, black males, it's, it's black women too. Um, just like that nurse and her, and her boyfriend got killed for no reason. You worry a lot. You know, I, I'm a worrier. But I also know that what's going what's gonna to happen in your life if it's you know, if it's all up to God. But anyway, um, that young man who got killed by those racist dogs, they're not, you know, it's not gonna work out for them. You know, they think that they can do whatever they want. They 
think that they can say whatever they want. They think that they can control us. But I don't understand what is it that they don't understand. We ain't never going back to slavery. Because before any of that happens, it's, it's going to be a race war. It really is. And I hate to say that because it's so sad how people hate people for no reason. And I find that all a whole lot of nationalities, they really hate black people. I don't know. I don't know if it's... I don't, I don't, I can't really pinpoint why. I mean, I know why, but I really can't pinpoint why. I know we're a beautiful race of people. I mean, that's already given. We're intelligent. We have beautiful body structures. You know, we take care of ourselves. So for another race of people and another race of people to always hate us, it, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, what, what else do you want? I mean, it's, you take our melanin, you steal our organs. Come on now. Let's call it what it is. Let's, let's talk, let's, let's, let's call it for what it is, you know? And I, and I, like I said, I worry about my people, and I know you worry about your people. And that, and I, um, that poor guy, um, oh, forgot his name, um, who got killed. I can't, Sean, I think, Sean, oh. I'm not really sure, y'all. So, I'm, I, I'm so bad with names, y'all. But you know who I'm talking about. Um, that young guy who was jogging and got killed. That wasn't necessary. It just, it's just not necessary. Just a lot of senseless deaths that's going, that's going on. It doesn't need to occur because people are insecure and unhappy and very unhappy with their own lives. So you, you try to come, you try to come for us try to take our lives because you're not happy with your life but it's, it's much more to that than meets the eye and it's not gonna it's not gonna happen what you're really doing is digging a hole for yourself and I'm gonna tell you like this my people I'm a proud African-American woman we have a right to defend ourselves we have a right to bear arms. And if you feel like it's time or you feel like you need to go register and, and, and take shooting lessons to carry a weapon, you can do that. We have a right to bear arms. Just like I was telling my daughter, we're going to go and we're going to go um, take shooting lessons. We're going to purchase us weapons and get the proper license that we need and I that's what we're going to do and I'm just suggesting before you shoot a fire on get the proper lessons that you need you know just don't shoot a weapon that you're not you don't know the capabilities of it or you might hurt yourself but that's just my my little lecture for the day <clears throat> you know I love y'all I always try to tell you things that's just who I am. I care a lot. I worry a lot. But it's, I'm not going to ever change. So I'm not going to say that it's going to get better. But I, that's just who I am. But it is what it is. So, so my peas and carrots, they're going to be, they done? Oh yeah, they're done now. They're done. And you see that, you see that white stuff on top? That's just butter. Don't don't panic, people. <laughs> That's just a little butter. Look at that. Now, when you when you cook your peas and carrots, now I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you something. Let me see how this tastes first. Mmm, that's good. But anyway, when you cook your peas and carrots, you don't have to put. Uh, um, you don't have to put as much water as I did. You could always take and add a little less water, depending on your liking. Season it the same way, it's gonna come out the same way, just gonna have less water. But that's okay, everybody, like I said, everybody cook, this, cook differently, everybody eat differently. So, let me wash this off.
Got my brown rice. So my brown rice is cooked. <clears throat> my peas and carrots are done. Just gonna sit them right there. Make sure my water, all my water drained. See how nice my rice is? Look at that. Look at it. Look how, see? It doesn't stick together. That's why I like cooking my, I like cooking my rice in the microwave. I really do, it cooks it perfectly. I mean, but you can stand up and cook it on the stove or you can get your rice cooker, but it's gonna do the same thing in the microwave, y'all. I do this, I cook rice so many times. So many times, yellow rice, brown rice, white rice. It still, you just have to know how long to cook it. That's all, but it still comes out, still comes out perfect. And, and delicious. Now you know when you cook your brown rice, you can add a little salt to it. Cause it really doesn't have any flavor. It's just a, like I say, like a earthy, earthy taste. And then, I have all, I got all my, I get all my, all my brown rice out my calendar. Sure do, don't waste nothing. All right. Look how, look how nice that is. So I'm going to have to cook rice for about two, three days. And then if I get, and if I don't want any more brown rice for the rest of the, for those, for those um, couple of days, what I'm going to do is put it in, put it in my, Freezer Ziploc bags. Put it in the freezer. That's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> so my, my ribs are coming along. They're really looking good. Mm -hmm. Let me see how it tastes. Always wash off your spoons after it tastes off them. You know, that's what I do all the time. I always like to taste off my spoon, but I like to wash them too. Wash them with soap. So let me see. That's good. Now, I'm just going to add a little salt to that. When it cooked down a little bit more. But until then. Let me get my wine. Let me just sit this over here. So we, you know, I, I went back to work recently, you know. And it's like so, so strange because we, we've been home so long because of this virus. It's like going, I can remember, I can remember before um, when the virus was going on and everybody, a lot of people were staying inside and some people wasn't. The ozone was much cleaner. The air was much cleaner and you could tell because the smell of the, of God's earth. And so, when people started going back out after the, you know, after they let up the um, pandemic situation, people started going back to work, people started going back out. You could tell about the ozone again because it's, it has a different smell. I mean, to me, now maybe I'm saying it wrong, but the earth atmosphere, it has a different smell. Before it was very light and clean, fresh. But once everybody started going back out, you know, that's when you keep keep wearing your mask. Don't go out there without your mask because I know that a lot of people are still going to get sick because that virus is very much still here. You know, and I just want everybody to be safe, especially the elderly. But you know what the funniest thing about this people? You can't get no Lysol. You see how much you see how much one can of Lysol costs? Fifty dollars. 
$50 for one can of Lysol, 12.5 12 12 ounces of Lysol. How crazy is that? Who's going to pay $50 for Lysol and then ship it and handle it in? Now, Walmart on their, on their website, you can buy one can of Lysol. And that's not their brand, but the Lysol. Is, um, it was five dollars and something, I believe, a can, and then they charge you five, five dollars and something for shipping and handling. So you're paying ten dollars. Now I don't mind the five dollars and some change for the lights all, but to pay for the shipping and handling too. Oh come on! But they really, they really jacked up the prices of lights all. It really has. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and. I need to let this cook down, but for time, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to plate this. I'm going to take my rice. Just going to put me a little rice in the plate. Then I have my peas and carrots. So you can put your peas and carrots on the same plate, or you can put them in another bowl. But I'm just going to eat mine on the same plate. That's what I like to do. And I like the color of frozen peas and carrots. You see how, how green the peas are and how um, yellow the carrots are? So beautiful. I just think it's so beautiful. Now let me get my potato salad. Put my potato salad right there. Wash my food. Just gonna eat me a little dollop of potato salad. Maybe just a little bit more, just in case. <laughs> just in case, huh? that on the side. Got my potato salad. Got my red wine because you know red wine go with red. It goes with um, red meat. All right. So let me go ahead and fix my ribs. That's why I'm going to be letting my gravy still continue to, to cook down. But I'm just going to take my, my ribs, put my gravy on my plate. But I want my gravy to cook down a little bit more. When I say cook down a little bit more, I mean um, get it a little thicker. But, you know, just for the time, just for the sake of time. Just going to go ahead and do it like that. So, look how delicious that is. Look how, doesn't that look beautiful? Doesn't that look beautiful? And my potato salad. I'm going to taste it. God bless it. I always say, I like to say thank God and bless my food before I eat it. Mmm. That's so good. I see how t look at that. Look how tender my meat is. Look at that. Mmm. That's good. That's so good. Mmm. That's very good. Mmm. Mmm. What a wonderful meal. I should be down at this kitchen about 4.30. And then I can sit down. And turn all these lights off. And enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Because I have to work tomorrow. God spare my life. So I just want to say thank you for taking the time out to watch my show. I always appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the things that I talk about. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to. 
and try making this dish. Let me know how it turned out. Happy Sunday, and God bless.